Hi, in this video I will give an example of a selfish, manipulative mother. I will be using three video clips from a TV show called Glue. Uh, the context of those clips that I will be using is that a teenage boy, James, lives with his mother in a small uh, rural farm and it's James's 18th birthday and his sister visits him and wants to talk to him about his future and his past too. So let's take a look at the first clip. She's still treating you like shit? Yeah. Rate's still down? You're trying to persuade her to go organic. There's more money in it. She seems to think a horse will save us. I'm not so sure. Maybe. Blackout. Um, the horse dad bought. It's turned into a good racer, you know. Big money in it. And why don't we sell it? Hasn't revealed all of its potential yet. Potential? It's an animal. What potential has it actually got? Potential's a stink of shit. I spent my childhood running away from animals, and so did you. You said, we said, 18th birthday. You're going to tell her. No, I don't think I can. Durham University want you, James. Durham University won't wait forever. With the murder. 18th I... birthday. You promised me. You need to tell mum today. You're leaving. Here, James' sister tries to help James get out of this toxic environment that he's stuck in, unhappily living with his mother in this small farm town. By asking him, uh, does she treat you like shit still, she reveals that their mother is very unhealthy and is treating her children like shit. And uh, B, the sister, knows that, acknowledges that, and even James himself agrees that that's the case. But he feels too threatened, too afraid, too confused to pursue his initial goals of education and moving away from this environment. And his sister tries to help him by pushing him to do that and by reminding him that uh, he himself promised to get away when he turned 18 and today is his 18th birthday so that would be the day to stand up for himself and confront his mother and to say that I'm leaving. In the second clip James is trying to get away from his birthday party that his friends organized for him because he feels uncomfortable and he doesn't want to celebrate. Here, he interacts with his sister for the second time, so let's see how this goes. It's your party, you did cry and you did want to. <laughs> is that song before your time? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? I'm getting old and everyone forgot to tell me. Sorry. Sorry. James. This place is poison. I've watched it make you smaller and smaller. You don't understand. Of course I understand. This is your one chance to get out of being a farmer in Shitsville for the rest of your life. It worked for mum and dad. Yeah, it killed him and it's killing her. And don't give me any of that loyalty bullshit. It's not blood, it's land. Farms can be sold. Some people like it here. Yeah, but you don't, so... This is where I belong. Now leave me alone. As you can see, James is feeling very confused and guilty, he's apologetic and he's unsure of what he wants to do. And when his sister uh, reminds him that he's unhappy here, and this is indeed a very poisonous environment, and that their father is already dead and their mother is very unhealthy, uh, what are you doing here? Eventually James gets frustrated and angry and pushes his sister away, and that is what usually happens when you try to push somebody to do something. They feel resistant. And also I would argue that B, the sister, feels responsible for James because usually the older sibling is raised to take care of the uh, other sibling. And this is unjust to the older sibling. But at the same time I can see how the human factor might be the case here too, that she might feel just 
human compassion and uh, want to help him as a human being. So unfortunately, she doesn't know how to do it effectively. So she tries to push him and push him and push him. And he feels frustrated because he already knows that he wants to leave. But at the same time, he's uh, too weak to stand up for himself and tell his mother that he wants to leave. So he's angry at her and since he can't be angry at her, he's not allowed. He directs this anger at himself and feels frustrated with himself and then gets angry at his sister for reminding him of what's going on here. So now let's look at the final clip where James is interacting with his mother. Cash, you only need to ask. I'm not looking for cash. Well, what are you looking for then? I can't say. Very secretive son, secretive ways. Fine, oh, I don't need to know. My sister's gone. She'd gone before I got back. She left a note saying that she'd call and be back at Christmas. Got me a gift. Of course I got you a gift. I'm your mother. Holy shit, is this what I think it is? It's outside. It's a bit run down, but this some work. The suspension's knackered on the other one. I thought it was a car. This is great. Thank you, Mum. The farm needs this, just like it needs you. If we are going to survive, we need you. I need you. So James's mother bought her son a gift. And as you can see, this is not a gift for him, but it's a gift for herself, which is disgusting and manipulative. And you can see that James is very excited when he catches the gift and unwraps it and sees that this is the keys to a new car and he wanted a car and then they together go and see that this is a tractor and you can see the disappointment in his face and the sadness and he's trying to mask this because he feels uh, insecure around his mother to express his true emotions and he has to manage them by uh, putting this mask and trying to look happy when indeed he feels very disappointed and frustrated with her and she catches him and then she tries to guilt trip him by saying that the farm needs you as if the farm is alive as if the farm is not an inanimate concept. By that she means that I need you. I need for you to take care of my needs. And he's trained to do that. That's why he feels so guilty and so weak and so uh, confused and so uh, conflicted. And this is very unjust and very unfair to James, to the child in the child-mother relationship, child-parent relationship. And this is everywhere. And people ask me, why don't I know what I truly want? Why do I feel unmotivated to do stuff? That's why. That's why you feel unmotivated to do stuff. That's why you feel unmotivated to pursue your own goals, because you were trained to take care of your parents. 
when your needs and your parents' needs clash, you are trained to take care of your parents' needs and not to get angry at them, not to feel sad, and you can't express your discontent, your uh, rage towards your abusive caregivers. You have to take care of their emotions and their needs. And you are pushed to do stuff that you don't want to do, and eventually you lose yourself, you lose your interests, and then you feel confused, you are your interests are enmeshed with your parents' interests and then since your parents' interests are higher than yours, you eventually repress your needs and emotions and you don't even recognize them anymore or feel guilty about feeling them. And that's why people don't feel motivation to do stuff and if somebody else tries to push them to do stuff, of course it doesn't work as I've mentioned because you already have been pushed to do stuff that you don't want to do so the reflex is that if somebody pushes me I resist regardless of whether it's good for me or not so if you have been raised in this kind of environment where people push you to do stuff where people don't take into consideration your preferences as a child, if you're a child and your caregivers don't care about you, uh, they don't love you unconditionally, they don't care about your emotions and you are not allowed to feel your emotions, you are not allowed to express how you feel and pursue your interests and uh, pursue your preferences, then as an adult you feel confused and lost and unmotivated and apathetic and you may feel uh, the need to be in an unhealthy environment because you are used to do that it's repetition compulsion to get into the same unhealthy situation over and over again until it's resolved or until you die so that's unfortunate and that's the mechanism so I hope this was helpful to you Thank you for watching and see you in the future. Bye.